brush research manufacturing. World-class tools used by world-class craftsmen. This is BRM Presents. I didn't realize this, but the cool factor of being a knife maker in Los Angeles is a thing, I guess. My family, weren't, they weren't too happy about it. Like, what, what are you doing? You, you, in, you work in animation or you, or you, you know, you like the film industry and now you're going to go and make knives. Uh, I did a lot of things um, before knife making, mostly in the entertainment industry and uh, uh, then industrial design. One of my clients uh, was Nike and they uh, wanted a knife designed for them for a special project. Uh, but as I was searching around for makers, I discovered more about making knives and then discovered more about selling knives. And so I decided I'll make the knife myself. So I designed it and made my first knife. Through that process, I decided to sell the firm that I had and become a full-time knife maker. Individual knife makers make knives by, by hand or manually or via computer-controlled you know, CNC equipment. But at the end of the day, it's a long process. It always depends on what kind of, uh, who you are in the knife world in terms of a collector, owner, and buyer of these things, uh, what kind of knives you end up uh, gravitating toward. I, during my research, I was looking at a lot of knives. And there were some really nice knives, some knives that function very well. But a lot of times they had unnecessary details or an engineering element just didn't seem right to me. I saw this big piece of the pie that could be exploited in terms of just like simple Dita Ram style design and manufacturing. So that's the kind of knife that I make is a simple straight ahead archetypal folder, minimal details and engineering that is in place in order to make the knife last and function as it, as it should. There's a whole world out there of people who buy knives, talk knives, fight knives, not literally knife fight, but fight over knives and hate on him, love on him, buy knives because this maker has uh, got celebrity status and they're fanboys and seeing these things being traded or sold or auctioned or, or on the secondary market and they go for a lot more money than I would ever think to, that my knives would go for is, it's, it's pretty exciting. Uh, the main thing that I've found as a knife maker is you do have to keep your eye on the pie and the, what's important, which is building a tool that will work. But I think that maybe is why I, I do something a little different than what a lot of people do, which is just be simple.